Okay, testing. One, two. Can you guys hear me now? Am I frozen? Yep. Sure am frozen. Hmm. Okay, so I don't know what's going on with this thing. It's just not playing ball today. Um, okay, so you can hear me right now. Cool. Uh, I just... Yeah, I cannot get the audio to work. I mean, the video to work. What's going on? We might have to just go without. I'm also now having a hard time getting just the screen to pop up. My goodness. Why am I not seeing my footage either? Bukata. Why? What is this? What is this? Oh. Yeah, this thing is being an absolute nightmare today, folks. Maybe it's Knizia's fault. But if I say that too loudly, Mike Delicia will run in here and smack me. Oh, goodness. All right, let's see here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nothing's working. Okay. Now I'm getting borders on this when there's normally not borders on it. I don't know what's happening, but I'm gonna come over here to the app and quit it. Resign. Yes, I don't care. Okay. Okay, let me check the comments here. I'm looking at the comments. No video. Looks like we've got a stream of Z reading us the phone book after all. Uh, uh, you can see the game, but not you. Yep. I, it's just, I'm literally not getting a feed. Uh, it popped up for one second, the, my, my footage, and then it immediately froze. So it was me, like, staring down. And you could still hear me from what you said, but no footage. Moving. I've switched out every cable for every other cable that I know is working because it's capturing the iPad, and that's not working. So I don't know what else to do. We're just gonna play some Yellow and Yanze without me. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find a picture of myself, and we're gonna post that up. How about that, okay? I'm gonna take a picture of myself right now, actually, and we're gonna post that. There, I just took a photo. And we're going to post this picture up on the screen, assuming that works. Here we go. It's incoming. Booyaka. Okay. That picture. How do I change this photograph? All right. Yes, yes. Uh, what is happening right now? <laughs> uh, 
Let me see. Can you even see me? That's me. That's my face. Questioning everything. That's me questioning everything right there. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad you are okay with how this is transpiring. Because I am not enjoying this. Alright, here we go, folks. We're just going to go ahead and go. Um, what happens if I put this in? Hi, guys. This is an absolute nightmare. <laughs> oh, what is happening? What is going on? This thing is truly, truly misbehaving. Set the nothing feed. This one's fine. Uh, that's no good. Do that. And do that. And then I'll do that. And we're going to do that. Okay, we're going to try it. Can you guys hear me right now? <laughs> it looks like I'm, I'm holding myself. Here we go. Whee! Oh, little button. Okay, um... Let's, why am I looking up there? There's nothing up there. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. <clears throat> so I'm going to play solo. We are going to play easy mode. I need easy mode, guys. And it's going to be three players. <laughs> All right. So here we go, the board is seated up, the players each are represent an animal or, or a thing. I'm the uh, lion player, there's the ox and the arrow player or whatever, the spear player. Uh, and I have in front of me, in my hand if you would, I'm going to keep looking up there, in my hand if you would. I have six tiles and I have my five leaders. I also, by the way, today I was especially prepared because I have the rule book for the game. I read the whole thing. I played a whole demo game or most of one. I am, I'm good to go. And then this thing just thoroughly crapped out on me. So, anyway, we make that lemonade. So I got my leaders in front of me here, and I got these tiles. Uh, this game is a, an evolution of Tigris and Euphrates. So if you know that game, you're, you're pretty close to knowing how to play this one, too. You are going to be trying to get victory points in various sort of uh, studies or pursuits. And um, of the five different colors here, of which I have obviously zero of each right now, uh, whichever one I have the least of, that's actually my score. So you want to kind of level them all up equally. Uh, so I am going to... I want to go ahead and put out a leader right here. This is my blue leader there. And then... I have two actions, that's my first one. For my second action, I'm gonna go ahead and put out uh, one of these fishermen that can only go on the rivers and nowhere else. Whereas everyone else can only go, uh, can can never go on the rivers, they can go anywhere else, okay? So I'm gonna put that there. Boop. I get a point in blue, as you saw. And that's my turn. And so we are putting up the leaders and leveling up basically giving them support, growing what they do. When the leader goes out, it has to go next to one of the black tiles, which be become these sort of pagodas, and that is support for that leader. So, for me... I have a lot of military tiles here, so I'm going to go ahead and put out this. And I'm going to go ahead and put out that to give myself some of that sweet, sweet military. 
Now, as we do this and grow the different areas, these empires uh, gaining new tiles. Oh, this person just made a pagoda. If you put three tiles out in that arrangement, in a, in a triangular arrangement, then you can build a pagoda. And if you do that, whoever's leader is tied to that color gets passive income of uh, one per. So every round, this uh, pagoda here, this triangular section here, the ox player is going to get one black cube every, every uh, end of their own turn. So they, they can just passively do that. So besides that, there are uh, conflicts that can take place in the game. You can have uh, two different kinds of conflicts. There is a revolt and a war. A revolt happens when you put a leader somewhere and there's already a leader of that color there. Then they fight. Um, and the loser's going to get kicked out of there. And that's going to be the... Let me find it. The... Uh, bah, bah, bah. Yeah, you base that on the governor tiles, which are the black ones, the ones supporting that leader. Uh, you can discard more of them from your hand to sort of boost up how much support you have and kick the other guy out. The other option then would be uniting two whole kingdoms, right, through tile placement. And that is comes down to the military, so the red tiles. So that's what the black tiles do, kind of what the red tiles do, generally speaking. And then the other ones have their own thing that they can sort of do above and beyond the usual placement and getting you something. Now I like that there is so much support here, but you know what else I like? I like being able to do this. I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to build myself a pagoda and get that passive income. Baby! There it is. Violent Frog, the less you know, the better. The less you know, the better. Okay? Why would you ask these things that you don't want to know? What am I going to do? <clears throat> Ooh, I do like this. I'm going to put my yellow leader right there. And then I'm going to put one of these right there. Well, I got that. And there you saw me gain that passive income. Here I go. I'm going to put another one of these there. Get that pagoda, baby. Get that passive juice. See, this person's a jerk. Whoever built this guy here next to my yellow guy, that's a call the jerk move. Because what that does is weaken my position. Now I have fewer of these, uh, uh, what are they called, governors around me, which makes my position there weaker. I like that. <clears throat> one thing I should point out is... Whenever you play the blue tiles, you can keep placing them. The farmers, you can keep for a single action, placing as many as you want to, as long as they are next to the first, like, you know, in a chain, basically. There we go. I'm doing okay so far. I gotta get my governor out and get my trader, the green guy, out. Hmm. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. There's no trader here yet, so he's going out. And then I'm going to go ahead and support both of them with bad move. Yes, I give that person a point, but I'm helping out both of my guys.
<laughs> the chat is over my face? But that's wouldn't that normally be a problem anyway? I'm normally in the bottom corner. <laughs> All right, that's me. What am I gonna do? I'm still sitting on my leader here, my uh, um, governor leader. I need to get them out somewhere. All the good spots are kind of taken. I suppose. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go right here. Put myself out there, why not? And then I'm going to put that right there. Now when you play a green one, one of these uh, traders, then you get to pull a token from this display on the table. So instead of randomly drawing a cow, you can actually take whatever you want. So the black ones give you the black cubes, the red ones give you red cubes if you play the tile into the land where you are with that character. But also, the black ones are going to help you if there is a, uh, what are they called, a revolt? Yeah, a revolt, which means and there end up being two leaders in the same location because you place the leader in there. Uh, the support of these people will help you, the, the governors. And then the red ones are good if two of these lands clash then there's a war between them. And that's when you need the red ones. You can sort of add them on to the people already in there helping, and the winner kicks out the uh, loser. Hmm, guess I'll take one of these. Mr. Magnavox, whew, that's old school, baby. That always reminds me of uh, the one thing I always keep coming back to. Tech, tech stuff is Memorex. I, I still remember distinctly, like, the stacks of CDs uh, that you had, and, you know, the writable CDs, the Memorex. That's the good stuff. We are old, ladies and gentlemen. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do this right here. And I'm going to do this right here. And I'll take that. I'm doing okay. I'm kind of leveling everything up about evenly. Is it live or is it Memorex? Yeah. Oh, what happened? What happened? They took away my pagoda. So there's a limited number of pagodas, so if somebody builds another one, they can then replace it with one that was somewhere else, and they just take it from you. I'm going to go right there. Now I need to steal one of these pagodas. I'm taking this one. Just forget that guy. There's mine. And now... I'm gonna do something good. I'll do another one, why not? Bam. Doing pretty well, I'm getting that good passive income. Yeah, kids don't know about the stuff. You know, the flop discs. All that good stuff. I, uh, a few years ago, it was probably more than a few years ago to be fair, but I remember coming across my, um, a, a three and a half floppy disc. Not the big boys, the big floppy ones, but the little ones, uh, that was my 
was a disc I used in middle school for coding in basic. <laughs> and, uh, and I came across that. Again, like I said, it's been a while, but I just remember being like instantly feeling nostalgic and uh, just kind of my mind was blown. Be like, oh my gosh, yes, that's right. I used to code in basic in middle school on a floppy disk. Pop that bad boy into the computer and write some code. <laughs> All right, if things are getting tense out here in the lands. Uh, I think there's going to be some fighty fights coming soon. It might be time, honestly. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put this tile right here, and there's going to be some fight. Are you sure you want to start a war? Yeah, I want to start a war. Here's the problem. I'm in both. <clears throat> I am... I need to contribute to the war, but the problem is I'm, I have a leader in, on both sides. So... myself up on that side but that's okay and I have an action left which is gonna be one two one two I don't want to do that that seems like a risky move I have a red left How do I want to do this? I have quite a bit of yellow, actually. Maybe I don't want to do that. Um, I might... Let's see. If I put this red somewhere, I would start a fight. We would count the... the Black tiles for support. So I can actually do that. I can go here. There's a revolt. That's a different kind of conflict you'll see, right? So we were counting the military units when two lands merged. Now we just threw a new leader in there who's like, no, I should be the, the I don't know what he is, uh, a soldier. I should be the new soldier, the legion monster. That's it. I found it. Um... <clears throat> And he's got the support of four of these uh, governors because I put him in a great spot. There's four around it. This guy over here, this nerd, has support of one. So, you know, he's done. He's out. Get out of my face. It's mine, okay? This whole city's mine. You want anything, you go through me. Nick, I recommend you do not go back and check it out not worth your time this comes from a friend okay um don't even worry about it i mean just just there's better things to do contribute soldiers to the war who's fighting right now why is everybody fighting right now yes i want to fight and i hope they burn huh Yes, I'm going to contribute to the fight right here. Bam. Bam. Yes. I'm a beast. How would you possibly hope to stop me? Ah! You're tearing everything up. Things just get torn up. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, the yellow points uh, are wild. That's right. They go towards whatever. And that's the special ability of uh, yellow points. There's also a couple of special abilities with the uh, the blue and the green. You can discard two of the... What's, what's the special ability? You can discard uh, two blue farmer tiles to cause a peasant's riot, which means you remove any one tile from the board, or you can discard two green trader tiles to establish a pagoda somewhere that has the triangular you know, formation already, but no pagoda there. So you can do that too. Straight magic, basically. All right, how am I doing? My blue is suffering, my green is suffering. I need to not put that there because it has to be next to a governor, right? So I could do this and then put him there. Oh, oh, oh. yeah, in your face, science. <laughs> we are getting a new episode of Four Coins, my 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 uh, my friend. We are getting one on Thursday. Trying to, I was very confused. I'm sorry. I hung up there because I was trying to figure out what your name said, and it's prescient. But and now I see that. But I don't know why I was tripping up on that. I'm a little off. I'll be honest with you. And I wonder why. All right. What am I doing here, guys? I got two actions left. I need to rocket it into the stratosphere. Hmm, what's over here? No, I don't like that. I'm doing okay right there. Where's my green guy? There's my green guy. Where's my yellow guy? There's my yellow guy. Huh. I could also discard some stuff, but that's not a good idea. I'm going to do that, I'm going to do that, and I'm done. I need some, there we go. There's some black tiles, that's good. Whew. Four coins <laughs> is going to be on Thursday, yes. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to take that. Done. I got to get my blue game happening. That's the one that's suffering right now. Okay, blue goes right there, that's good, I got a point for that. And I'll take a point for that. I know somebody's gonna try to come at me and fight, fight my dominance. I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Get that.
get that. If I do that, there's a fight. I don't want to start a fight. I'm perfectly happy. That's a lot of red. It's a good time for some fighting. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. What kind of fight do I want to start? I would love to take that fool out. As far as military prowess goes, neither one of these two groups has any. If I help him, I lose out on green. That's the problem. I'm kind of spread out everywhere. I don't like that. Can it be done? That's the real question. I think with four tiles, I could do it. We're both at no... Yeah, let's see what happens. If I do that, neither one of us has any strength in military. There's none. These are both weak, weak regions. I am okay with this. Um, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. Because that's the side I want to win. I lose the green side, but that's okay. Done. I love it. Kicked everybody out. And then for my remaining action. Hmm. That guy's very well protected. Yay. Yes, he is very well protected. But what if I do that? Okay, I'm creating a revolt. Yes, I want to contribute to myself. Did I do it? Nope. Nope, he had some. Okay, so he added one as well and kicked me out of there. I'll be back. Don't you worry about it. Oh, what a jerk. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, fine, I'm leaving, dude. No, I don't want to contribute. What an animal. Everybody wants a piece of that pie now. <laughs> Yeah, in your face. That's what happens when you go after me. Some other jerk goes after you. I'm still really struggling with the blue, I will say. The blue is where I'm where I'm lacking there. Um hmm. So what happens if, yeah, I do this, what are the colors being shared here? I would defend that one because it's red, there's no black there, oh no, there it is, it's over here. It's a very large land. <clears throat> and I don't want to knock myself out, that's not good. So how do I do this? I'm going to go there. And I'm going to go there. And be done with it. Game is over! All right, and now we count up, and like I said, the idea here is to have the most in the weakest, just like Tigris and Euphrates. So me at the top, 
I have um, seven in blue. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this stuff here so it goes into whatever's the weakest, bringing up, you know, everything evenly. So I'm at 16, this player was only able to get up to 9, and the ox was only able to get up to 12. I actually evened mine out, it looks like. That's pretty good. At 16, so that is my final score, which is pretty good. And I am the winner. So the AI is skewed towards having black tiles. You, you found the AI in this game to be a little finicky. I haven't noticed, I haven't played enough to notice that. But I enjoy it. I certainly like it a little bit better than uh, Tigers and Euphrates. I would say it's a little more dynamic, it's a little more interesting. There's more, it's just a little more fun to it, I think. And then you've got Campaign here. It, which I did last time I streamed this. I've, di I've done it one time before. It was a couple years ago. And uh, you can kind of go through these chapters if you want and play that. Play those stories there. You can also do multiplayer here where you can pass and play or play online. The whole thing's built very, very well. It's from Direwolf, so it's to be expected. They make really, really good apps. So there you go, folks. I'm donezo. I am going to get out of here and keep working on this tech and try to figure out what is going on with all of these cables that don't want to behave. That's going to do it for me. Uh, until next time, here's Tom talking about what you saw. Wasn't it amazing? See you guys next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this review or whatever you just watched, wasn't it amazing? Uh, check out our channel, Dice Tower. Uh, we have all kinds of things. We review games, we do top tens, we play games live. It's all about board games, but especially the people who play them. Check out Dice Tower YouTube channel.